Hey guys, um, I want to talk to you today about how to get faster. So when you see somebody that's in their 80s or their 90s, you would never really characterize them as being fast. Typically you see them stumbling, you see them being slow. And so I started to ask the question, <clears throat> how, how fast can I become? And I've done a lot of endurance training, um, and endurance training is clearly important from a cardiovascular standpoint. But in order to be fast, there's a couple of things that we can do to improve quickness, agility, and speed all at the same time. So I'm gonna show you a couple exercises. They're basically done with a, a resistance band. The resistance band, these are made by a company called Can Do, C-A-N-D-O. Um, we don't have any relationship with them, but, <clears throat> and you have a door stop right here that looks like this. And I'll show you how to set it up. The advantage of the resistance bands is that it gives you the ability to not just train slow twitch muscle fibers, which is what you're doing when you go for a run, go for a bike ride, get on the elliptical, lift a weight. You're basically making yourself slower by doing that because you're really only training slow twitch muscle fibers. So <clears throat> by utilizing this, you can recruit fast twitch muscle fibers and get a great um, workout. You'll actually feel more agile and quicker when you complete the exercise. So I'm going to show you several different exercises and you want to kind of lump these together in the course of a day. I won't go through an entire routine, that would be too long of a video, but I'll show you the basics and then we can go from there. So you basically attach this to the door. Just by um, lifting, or looping that um, stay back behind the door. And then you basically step into it like this. And you have the, the elastic around your ankle. Then what you're gonna do is you're basically going to exercise your hip flexors, right? So if you think about, I wanna be able to run faster, you need to basically be able to train all the portions of the running stroke. Not just the push off, which is what you get when you do weight training or plyometrics, but you need to be able to increase the speed at which you pick up your foot and increase the speed at which you push your foot back up. Okay, so the way to get at the hip flexors, which is a collection of about nine muscles, is to basically plant one foot and then take this foot, bring it up like this and push it forward like that. So you push it forward, just foot, toes straight ahead and hold that. It's about 80% of maximal effort and you want to hold it to a count of about 20. So it's like one, two, three, four, five. And I, I was just holding it for 20, <clears throat> but it's at about that pace. And then you let it rest for a second, you come back. And now you, if you've ever kicked a soccer ball with the instep of your, of your foot, you basically come at it like a soccer ball and you push again to about 80%. And what you're going to find is that you're working this muscle in the hamstring and the, and the hip flexors, but you're also really working the calf muscle. The foot that's down on the floor is also getting a great workout. So you do that for about 20 seconds. Then if you've ever made a soccer shot where you kicked it with the outside of your foot, you kick forward with the outside of your foot like this, hold that for about 20 seconds, same thing, and then come back and finish off by toe straight like a football kicker might kick and hold that for about 20 seconds. So once you've done that, you switch legs and do the same thing on the next leg. Now I'm going to show you the next exercise with the, with the left leg. And this one is where you bring your leg up high. Whoop. Bring your leg up high. My uh, thigh is almost parallel to the ground. And at that point, I now push out again with about 80% strength. So by counting to 20, I'm actually recruiting the fast twitch muscle fibers that are in here. They don't activate right away. You have to hold this for about 20 seconds and then they'll come on board. So you do that, same thing. Soccer kick like this, soccer kick like this, and then come back and finish off with that, okay? So that's getting your hip flexors. And then to get your your other muscles here, you'll come back and switch legs and you'll come 
from the back, you'll basically extend your, your leg behind you. Get that down around my ankle. So it's kind of like this is the part of the running stroke where your leg is coming up behind you. And you push that back and hold it. Again, for a count of about 20. And then after you've done that, you do that <clears throat> with both, um, both legs. And you're pushing back again like a soccer kick with the outside of the foot, a soccer kick with the inside of the foot. So you do four rotations there and then switch feet. And then in order to get lateral quickness, you're basically going to put a foot in and now you're moving your foot completely lateral. So you basically are gonna hold this and push out like this, okay? And you're gonna hold that for a count of 20. And you wanna be crouched and low, you wanna keep an arch in the small of your back and you're holding that for a count of 20. Then you bring it back and rest it. Then you're gonna do that three times. And you're gonna get a really good burn doing that. Okay, do that with one foot and then come over and do it with another foot. Same thing. But this time too, you can actually step further out and just pick it up and hold it right here and you'll get different muscles. So this is, these are the routines that you do and we'll send you some brochures on how to do this exactly, but I want you to see some of the mechanics around it. Okay? Great. Thanks.